What's up guys, so today we're talking about Quicksilver and I don't know if you guys have been reading the new Scarlet of Witch and Quicksilver that just came out, but we found out that Quicksilver has gotten some upgrades and there may be a chance that he might just be as fast as the Flash or faster. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in the new issue of Quicksilver and Scarlet of Witch or Scarlet of Witch and Quicksilver, we see that Vision tells him that he's gotten a lot faster. Like he's gotten a lot faster, just like she's gotten stronger. While at the same time, we see that he's able to vibrate through, you know, solid matter with the greatest of ease. Now, I bet you guys are wondering, well, where are these upgrades coming from if he's, you know, gotten stronger? Well, you'd have to go read back to No Surrender, where Quicksilver basically was chasing down an object that was moving without friction. I don't know if you guys understand what that means, but light, well, let's put it this way. The only way light can travel at light speed is within a vacuum space because there's nothing holding it down, right? In a non-vacuum space, light travels a lot slower because there's weight. When an object is traveling without friction, it doesn't really have a limit to how fast it is or how fast it can or cannot be. And that's the thing, when it came to Quicksilver, Quicksilver couldn't, he couldn't catch it. So he went to Scarlet Witch and told her to basically take his limiters off. The limit to his speed was his mental. She took that away from him, and not only was he faster, and not only was he able to catch the object, but Pietro did something flashes have never done with speed. He ran through the very fabric of reality, um, and, and he ran faster than speed as they know it. Usually when a speedster goes to another dimension, they do so by vibrating to that dimension. Pietro did not vibrate, he ran there understand what that means for a person not to teleport not to use dimensional travel but to run from one dimension to another dimension and some dimensions again are infinite i'm gonna say it again some dimensions just like the universe are forever expanding and some are just simply infinite pietro ran through the very fabric or the very physical reality of Marvel, he ran through all of it, while at the same time running faster than speed as they knew it. So much so that he ran himself to another dimension where you needed speed to even be able to move. The only reason why Scarlet Witch was able to move or to even exist in that space is because, you know, again, she's a she's a chaos being. You know what I'm saying? So that and like she's just she's just a pillar of the universe. So she has magic, and there's a lot of things that she can do. Plus, being a Nexus being helps, but. Pietro, as of right now, doesn't have any limits to how fast he can go, and he doesn't have any limits to his speed. Because of that, we don't know how fast he is right now. The only thing Pietro is missing is being able to travel back and forth through time. And it's not that he can't, it's the fact that we haven't seen him do it yet. So we don't know if he can. Now, in this newest series of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, there's a good chance that we might see it, but it's, it's, it's just, it's just crazy. We know he can run through time and space. We know he can run through, again, all the infinite dimensions of Marvel. Again, it was shown. We know he can do all this. The only thing that we don't have as a feat for Pietro is him running back and forth through time at will. But what I find crazy is this. When the Flash is running for the most part, speedsters do not run at the speed of light on a consistent basis. They have to run for a little bit to you know, actually do that, to actually exceed the speed of light. Pietro has always ran at the speed of light and faster. If you guys remember Pietro, it was stated that he ran uh, faster than radio waves. Radio waves travel at the speed of light. And this is before he had his upgrade. I'm gonna say it again, Pietro has been running at radio waves. Again, the speed of light since before he got his upgrade. And now that his powers have no limit, he has nothing holding him back. I think Marvel is about to make him the most powerful speedster has probably ever existed. And the best way of them doing that is the fact that again, Pietro has the history, he's got the feats, and he has the story of growth. So I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, but what do you guys think? Do y'all think there's a chance he's becoming faster than, than the Flash? Do y'all think that there's a chance that he might already be faster than the Flash? Or do you think it's never going to happen? Let me know in the comment section. 
Other than that, I'm King Lion. I'll catch you guys later. And uh, make sure y'all go check out that new series, uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. It's really cool. I actually am enjoying it. Um, and don't forget that Scarlet Witch is getting a new solo run coming out soon also. But yeah, you guys have a great day.